We'll be far enough out to where nobody will be able to hear us. Fair enough. I think that was the original goal, was to be far enough out to where we could see around us in all directions and nobody could hear us. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I guess just go to that place. It's not like barrels there. Funny thing, I came prepared. No oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Duffy. <laughs> oh, I got 13 more. Fourteen more joints. Hell yeah. Oh, he's on his way in his magnum. Oh shit. Giant truck. <laughs> now block. Yeah. Now, now block that any prion eyes. So much for being subtle. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that won't be obvious. I mean, how do you get that much speed to send an oil truck at least a hundred meters? At Probably. least. I think I hear him. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're all going to pistol whip him. So, <laughs> he gets to go first, Robert, and then me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you well for him. Very Mission. subtle there, right, Mr. Well. Duffy. Everybody yeah, up. Man, I, want to make a, I want to make a mark. <laughs> Everybody up. Everybody guns out, and we're all going to pistol whip him at least once. <laughs> <laughs> you drove the Magnum to the meeting spot. Come on, it's <laughs> it's coming in a Magnum. I thought we'd just chill out. But... <sighs> <sighs> there you go. Everybody, light him if you have him. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. I still have 199 you can buy. <laughs> Told me to go to rehab. 280 off Dave once and just been slowly be going through that. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I just finished rehab today, damn it. Look, I was with you. Look at me. We're <laughs> <laughs> doing life, man. That's what you're doing. Alright, so, uh, hold on. I want to be able to hear Rob. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, it we can go ahead and leave it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's shit. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a hot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've spoken to Jack about this, but he's a uh, his two brother that's that arrived on the island recently, Sal and Alec Mandel. They've uh, started a truckers union. You know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, just, you know, standard union, fighting for the rights of full truck drivers across the island. But they're taking things a little more extreme than that. Not just the rights of truckers, it's just the rights of every, like, blue-collar person, so... They've heard about the shakedowns that, you know, the boys in hunting have been doing to people at farms. Mm. They're not happy about that. And, uh, you know, they're looking to, looking to hijack one of their convoys, or, you know, one of their magnums, so I know we were thinking about that. I haven't mm. told them anything about us yet, but I was just wondering what you guys' thoughts were. Like, obviously, Jack's met, uh, Sal, their cousin, he's a decent fella. Get I've met both of them. them. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, Vinny... Sal and Alec, them three kind of run it together. I think I met Vinny and Sal. I don't know an Alec. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him much around. He's like the bookkeeper of the organization, but yeah. Well, they've got similar interests to us, but I don't know how we want to play this out. You know, I kind of work with them behind the scenes, or, you know, maybe once we actually get the ball rolling speak to them, you know, us four, them three, just work something out. Leave it up to you guys, though. I say, yeah. It's not a bad idea, but there's already one hiccup and one ripple to that plan. Yeah, more people we need to trust. Well, there's that, and, um, I've already had a run-in with one of their workers, and it didn't end well for him. Hmm. Who's that? I don't know his name. He refused to give it. Matter of fact, he refused to tell me anything. 
happened, what happened was, is I was running casings for the big order that I've been working on. Jack. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was on my way down from my route, and somehow this guy knew exactly which route that I would take because he blocked off the route and then tried telling me that I had to get out of my truck. Well, I went around him. I went, started going down to my house, and he started following me, so I took a detour back up this well, back up towards uh, Union. And I messaged uh, Mr. Baltar there and asked him to uh, block off the bridge to Oceanside and help me set up an ambush. Yeah, ambush was successful. Mm. He got out of the car. I got out of the car. I had a gun pointed at him. I told him, what do you want? He said, who are you? I said, why don't you uh, give me answers first? He didn't want to talk. He didn't want to try and tell me anything. And then he looked at me and said, uh, I'll be seeing you later. No, no, he won't. Ah. Mm. But you know he's one of them uh, IT boys. I come to find out that uh, from Baltar, Nicholas there, that uh, he works for the union. Hmm. Yeah. So Which... does Nicholas know who it was then? Speaking of Nikki. Hmm. Speaking of Nikki, um. He is not to be brought in on any of this. We are to keep him in the dark on as much as possible, and he's only going to be the extraction for phobia. However, at the end of it, I'm going to declare him a loose end. Hmm. <clears throat> that guy would not have known my route. That guy would not have known my route any other way, Duffy. The helicopter's coming back. Yep. He's coming in low, too. Everyone can see your truck, <laughs> Mr. Trump. <laughs> okay, as much as I want to think I can trust thing. Baltar, I can't. He seems so, too jumpy to me. To, hmm. I don't I was know. talking to him. I spoke to him up. once, and he seems pretty, I don't know, I was, working, I was working with him earlier. He was um, saying, oh, if the suit's turned up, he's going to shoot him straight away. And it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ, I'll talk to him. He went, no, 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 you're going to help me. It's just like... Someone yeah, has interest and, in us, um, gentlemen. And that suit includes me, Duffy. He's already told me. Yep, yeah, I've heard that from him as well. So, <clears> the fact <throat> of the matter is, is he's going to end up becoming a loose end because he doesn't know how to watch his mouth and he doesn't know how to keep things quiet. And what does being a loose end entail? It's got to be dealt with. Is that it's the officers? Bird. No, that's a little bird. That has side seats to it. Hmm. They don't drive the little birds like that. Mm. Fly, oh. my bad. Very interested. I but I mean, what else can we do, Duffy? Fair point. I mean, I, I know that's just one to add to the body count, but <laughs> it's an unfortunate situation. You know, I tried helping the guy out as much as I could. I told him that if he got taxed by anybody, that just pay it, keep his head down, and do what was asked of him. And I would reimburse him everything he lost, and he just wouldn't do it. Believe that's Mr. Bear flying over us. He just sent me a text message asking if that was us. Yeah. Looks like we gotta find a new place. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. I'll just tell him I'm cooking some fish for, for some friends. There we go. Yeah, we'll find a new place. Huh? Fine. Yeah, we'll switch I, I, on top of that, Duffy, you no longer, either one of you, I, any of you, no longer have to keep an eye out for Mr. Baltar. He's going to keep poking the beehive. He's going to get stung. Yes, fair enough. Yeah, and I ain't pulling him out, though. No point associating yourself with someone who's just going to get you killed. Hmm. And on top of that, if we have to change up the plan for, well, actually, no. Now that we have the truckers union to scare off anybody from messing with farmers we don't need Phobio to take the warning shot mm. unless you guys still want to do that I mean we could, wait, te wait, wait. We could technically pin that Feel on like I've missed out on a bit of the plan right here wait I thought didn't you tell him Duffy oh, that, what are you missing out on we'll alright right. warning shot what we was planning on doing is to help keep the guys in Huntington off of the farmers we was going to leave a well not so subtle note 
telling them to keep away from the farmers or bad things will happen. And we was going to have somebody take a warning shot, shoot out one or two of the windows of bow sounds, and then be distracted by heli. Mm. Ah. That's where Baltar was going to come in. But since he is a wild card, I don't want to risk that. Yeah, yeah. Last thing I happened to me is I'm alone on top of a roof. I'd rather be at least near some water. Yeah, and there's no way to pull that off with you being near water. Mm, I'd have to make a run for the lake and everything. Maybe yeah, well, you wouldn't get away on foot. Mm. You just drive that straight into the sea, mate. Mm. That's what we, um, that's what we're thinking about, so because say what you want to say about him, he's a fucking fantastic pilot. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's a damn good pilot. But it's his arrogance, his cockiness, his hot-headedness, his lack of understanding that's going to make it difficult to work with him. Pay him money, don't tell him what's going on. <clears throat> Anything that happens. Duffy, I was helping this man make a ton of money. And I asked him to do me a favor as a friend, and he just refused. That's the type of gentleman you don't want to play cards with. Especially when that when that fallout can come back on me. Mm -hmm. I even smoothed over the problems he had with Mr. Kenny, and he just turned around and made everything worse. Sad to be sad, sad to say, he is definitely on the guys in Huntington's hit list. Mm. Not actual, hit, <clears throat> not actual hit list guys. For the record, he's, he's on there. <laughs> um, this guy is a piece of shit list. There we go. The shit list. Uh, sure. Yeah, the shit list. There we go. So, mm -hmm. we'll cross that bridge when we have to come to it about so We still might not have to yet, but we do need mm -hmm. to cut ties with him. We won't have to if the guys at Huntington get to him first. Fair point. Fair point. And mm -hmm. without me watching his back like I was, I mean, the only reason why I was going to warn you guys earlier is because you were there, Duffy. Mm -hmm. But I would also um, not work it with him as much because he is going to attract trouble. He does, like a magnet. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, I was That's asking more... about his past. He's fucking, he said that he's escaping things. He flew over in an orca, and that was that. <clears throat> There's two. Dead, but he had to get out fast. There's two types of gentlemen that goes up the intercoastal waterways, and that's when they're transporting stuff. There's one gentleman that like to be in motorboats, trying to do as quickly as they can, but it's loud as living hell. Then there's me. Goes it nice and slow, takes it easy, and then it gets to the destination, not quick, but it's there. Less likely to get caught. And it seems that this gentleman is uh, one of those gentlemen that like to swerve around in a motorboat trying to deliver on time when it should be delivering safely. It is a wild card. Well, and on top of that, he... Yeah, there's just way too many things that he's unpredictable. That's just, it's volatile. Seems like he's only going to be good for a distraction. That's as far as it would go. Go skip around and use him as a burner card. He's already got ties, so what could be done is he's a fallback person. Yeah, he's with a patsy. Mm. We keep him around instead of getting rid of him ourselves. And anything that happens, we can throw the, we can throw the uh, book at him if you get my meaning. Yes, Duffy, sir. I got a question for you. Shoot. What do I do for a living? Oh. Make ammunition. For who? Okay, I see. And who does Baltar hate? You guessed it. And if he's working with the union, he's going to, he knows my routes, he knows how I work, he knows what I do. Doesn't work with the union, that's the thing. Baltar doesn't, doesn't but he, he knew the guy that did, and that's the problem I have. Maybe the guy wasn't part of the union. The union tried to recruit him and he flat out refused. Said he didn't need any help. Well, well that was when you, you know, you'd still let me know to keep an eye out for him. So I went with him to try and help him out by saying, you know, any shit goes down. You call some of the Union boys and they'll help you out. And he's like, no, I've got this fucking deagle, I'll be alright. So, okay then. 
Well, that's all well and good, but I know he shares information with those in the Union, and that's that's one of the problems I have. Because, like I said, the night that the one guy kept following me and I had to deal with him, that guy would not have known my route if someone didn't tell him. And the only person I know that would have told him that would have been Baltar. Mm. Uh, cool. I mean, he, par he parked in the perfect spot to stop me. Hmm. Hmm. I'll speak to the Union boys and see if I can figure out who that was <clears throat> they got after you. Oh yeah, yeah, they had, um, well, he didn't make it, we'll just put it that way. Yeah. And there was <clears throat> no evidence left behind.